All right, here we are. Finally, uh, the Green Knight, uh, Rapongi. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it should be Rapongi Tolos and was uh, the Green Knight. Let's go pick up our tickets. Oh, good Lord have mercy. Uh, Google Maps, thank you, but sometimes uh, just a little bit. Uh, took me a while to get here. But there we go. Familiar uh, temple logo. He's my temple. Toho Cinemas. The Green Knight. Let's go check this out. There you go. We got uh, the Green Knight. Um, looks like really spectacular. Screen to Rapongi Hills Cinema, uh, Toho Cinemas. Uh, 342 seater. Screen size uh, 13.1 meters uh, by 5.5 meters. Let's take. We got premium box seats, but that's not what I got. Uh, we are at M11 all the way back here, but center. Let's go. Got some popcorn, Yahoo. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, nice looking theater. Yeah, toes in my eyes are bumpy. Just finished watching The Great Night. Yeah, not your average fare. But yeah, I enjoyed it. it. Has a kind of deadpan sense of humor. I think it was pretty funny actually. But wow, beautiful, um, beautiful imagery. Spent some money on this film. Skywalker sound as well. Wow, they uh... yeah, good film. I liked it. Um, trash. Oh, uh, yeah, Green Knight. That was pretty cool, actually. Here it is. Ah, oh, Green Knight dream like. Uh, yeah, dark. Um, yeah, beautiful. My kind of uh, imagery and cinematography. Um, but a lot to process. I mean, it's uh, yeah, pretty strange uh, tale. But yeah, very good. Um, let's see, take a look. Uh, there's the uh, pamphlets for all the films playing. Um, let me see if I can get the Green Knight though. All right, just a second. We got uh, Toho Rapongi Cinemas. Uh, picked up pamphlet for the Green Knight. Um, yeah, definitely uh, not your average Disney Marvel fare, thankfully. Um, yeah, yeah, great imagery and a beautiful soundtrack. Um, yeah, it's dark. It, um, humor is pretty deadpan. Um, but yeah, a lot of process, you know. I mean, um, journey to achieve greatness and along the way, meeting some very strange uh, characters. Um, yeah, and here taking a look at uh, Rapongi at night. A beautiful sight. Um, but yeah, a lot of uh, 
you know, as far as dialogue goes, uh, those questions that they ask in terms of, um, you know, on the journey for greatness, uh, isn't goodness good enough? Um, yeah, that ending montage with, you know, barely any dialogue. I mean, um, you know, Dave Patel's character. Uh, seeing his life, um, you know, flash before him, just before the Green Knight uh, drops the axe on his uh, head. Um, we don't know that for sure. I mean, it, it is kind of open-ending film. Um, but definitely, as far as uh, cinematic experience, yeah, great, uh, epic. Uh, dark sound um, you know like a John Borman Excalibur kind of muddy and foggy journey uh, quite a metaphor for anyone's uh, quest for greatness but I love that question that they ask uh, isn't you know goodness enough and yeah. You know, getting to uh, around my age, um, you start to realize what's really important in life. And I think the Green Knight's a great allegory, great metaphor. Uh, even though it's set in like a medieval fantasy world, um, yeah, it's still the same type of you know journeys that we go through, especially at a young age. Don't realize. Uh, what's really important when we uh, get older um, But now yeah Christmas time in Tokyo we got Roppongi Hills Christmas market definitely have to come here another time um, But yeah Busy night, so yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, we'll take a look at the pamphlet uh, when we have a chance uh, Let's take a look at the poster one more time Dave Patel starring in the green night Thumbs up Check out the uh, green in the back. Goes with the theme of uh, the green night. Um, but yeah, I picked up the uh, here Tosuno's Ropongi. Ta da da da! Ta da! We have the uh, film pamphlet. Uh, the green night. Uh, yeah, one of my favorite uh, studios, A24. They do some like pretty outlandish stuff, pretty well. Um, yeah, but yeah, you know, it's a bit slow moving, I guess. You're gonna, it's a bit of a test, I guess. Um, just like uh, the, the uh, main character, uh, played by Dev Patel. Let's see, we got, uh, yeah, Gawain Dave Patel uh, on his journey to uh, confront the Green Knight. Uh, let's see who else we got. We got uh, Alicia Vikander. As uh, Essel, the lady, uh, Joel Egerton, uh, he's also he's always cool to watch, right? The Lord, uh, Mother Morgan Le Fay, uh, Sarita Chaudhary. I uh, hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, you know, Sorceress Supreme, so to speak. Uh, yeah, Sean Harris, always good to see Sean Harris, King Arthur. Uh, Kate Dickey as the Queen. Uh, Barry Cogan as the scavenger and Ralph Innocent as the giant green knight uh, what does he represent um, you know that's up for you to watch uh, I'm just looking at it as you know a cinematic experience uh, any you know good writing uh, examples from the film um, especially when we're watching uh, cinema I think most important thing is to see repetition and throughout the film they, you know, things get uh, taken away and then things uh, come back all of a sudden. And like, for example, the big axe, uh, the Green Knight's axe that uh, Dave Patel's character has to return um, as part of the, um, I think it's a Christmas game, actually. And yeah, it's Christmas in uh, Tokyo right now. Um, yeah, beautifully uh, shot. 
it's um, you know when it's foggy, gray, and dirty, you can really feel that thick leg suit. Uh, what's your guy here? Uh, introduction, uh, the story itself. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah. Uh, uh, there it is, the Green Knight himself. That's right. Um, Ah, yes, that's the axe that uh, Dave Patel's character has to return. But it gets uh, stolen by uh, this little nasty character here. Um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, we got the caster, uh, Sir Gawain. Let's get a picture of uh, Dave Patel there. There he is. Uh, fine form. Uh, Joel Egerton as a lord. Uh, what a great voice, I mean, just made for that huge uh, cinema sound. Uh, Sean Harris from the uh, Mission Impossible films, uh, my favorite franchise of all time there. As uh, King Arthur and uh, the scavenger who takes the axe away from Gawain. Uh, Barry uh, Keegan. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, and here, the uh, ladies of the film, let me uh, adjust my mask. Uh, Alicia Vikander as Essel the Lady, uh, stunning on film. Uh, she has this kind of a soliloquy, this poem in the film that's just wonderful to watch. Uh, Mother Morgan Le Fay, great kind of that, you know, the witch type of, um, you know, sorcery. Uh, nature's, uh, you know, judgment on the civilization, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, but yeah, very beautiful on the film. Uh, dark and grimy. Uh, Kate Dickey as the Queen, and ta-da, Ralph Ennison as the Grey Knight. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's wonderful on screen there. Um, yeah, it's a slow-moving film. Um, it's a bit of a journey for the audience as well. Uh, some people might feel like uh, this point in the film because uh, slowly it moves but yeah just look at uh, these various scenes how um, beautiful the uh, the colors are um, the imagery uh, let's see yeah, there's Dave Patel uh, this character Gawain with the axe uh, King Arthur's sword Excalibur I'm been, uh, assuming um, yeah, but yeah, his journey, um, greatness, so to speak. Um, but that question that uh, Alicia Vikander's character uh, asks uh, before he take goes on the journey, I mean, isn't goodness enough? And I mean, uh, even today, it's, uh, young men and women try to achieve their greatness um, comes at a price and sometimes it just ain't worth it <laughs> you know what I mean um, but yeah I don't know I mean, it, it, it's, it's a really you know kind of um, the, the monologues poetic so it, it, it's not really about you know, a, a kind of storyline. It's very thematic. So, I mean, if you're not into that type of uh, narrative, The Green Knight might not be your cup of tea. But if you love just uh, stunning imagery and a uh, beautiful soundtrack, uh, I mean, that dark kind of um, haunting soundtrack uh, in the cinema, uh, this might be the film for you. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, Interesting film for Christmas. I mean, even throughout the film, they talk about, wow, check this out. Uh, Gawain's food. Uh, take a look there at that uh, table. But you got the recipe here for this uh, special type of pie. Uh, Tarte de Brimlent. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you live in Japan and you don't... Uh, it's very rare to have an oven big enough to uh, bake pies. Um, but yeah, that's part of the... Uh, pamphlet here. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's up my alley. I mean, I, I really like that kind of strange, um, kind of slow moving, brooding film. But because I think what happens is that when it moves so slowly and then suddenly 
um, you know, these great images like uh, this right here, or this, you know, strange imagery like this, the ghostly giants along uh, Gawain's path. I mean, yeah, really kind of, uh, you know, puts your body into a bit of a shock, but then kind of just amazed at uh, what's going on. Uh, but let's say, ah, some illustration here, uh, manga-esque, uh, as we are in Japan, uh, the uh, characters in The Green Knight, um, his uh, kind of companion, the uh, red fox there, uh, trying to guide him on his way, um, or misguide him, you know, as mischievous foxes are uh, prone to do. Yeah, A24, and you know, if you like A24, I can see that you uh, will enjoy this film, The Green Knight. Um, so yeah, if you have a chance, I mean, I know that it's a 2021 film, finally made its way to Japan in uh, 2022. Um, but yeah, not bad, not bad. I mean, it's not going to be the greatest film uh, ever, I think, but it's not the worst either, so yeah, The Green Knight. Uh, check it out. Written, directed uh, by Dave Lowry, is it? Uh, yeah, David Lowry, starring uh, Dev Patel of um, Some Dog Millionaire uh, fame. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, right, right, right. Go on that journey. Um, striving for greatness, but realizing that, you know, goodness is enough. Alright, talk to you later. Thanks.